You may remember that about a month ago, the CEO of Turing Pharmaceuticals got slammed on the internet for raising the price of a drug, Daraprim, from $13.50 to about $750 per pill. Not per bottle, but per pill. And this is a huge problem because it's the only drug that has been approved or was approved so far and available for those who have compromised immune systems like people with HIV, AIDS, and pregnant mothers. Now, Imprimis, however, another pharmaceutical company has decided to create a similar drug that provides similar benefits for just $1 a pill. So the CEO of Imprimis had something to say about this. He says, while we respect Turing's right to charge patients and insurance companies whatever it believes is appropriate, there may be more cost-effective compounded options for medications such as Daraprim for patients, physicians, insurance companies, and pharmacy benefit managers to consider. This went from a dollar, we're from $750 to a dollar. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. But remember, it started out as a dollar. Before it got raised to thirteen dollars and fifty cents, this is already this drug's been sold twice to two different companies. Earlier, it was another giant pharmaceutical mm -hmm. company that had it at a dollar. The other company bought it and thought, hey, I gotta turn a buck here. You know, I gotta make a profit because I took a lot of money out and financed it to buy this thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna charge thirteen dollars and fifty cents. This guy's like <laughs> they, they yeah. don't know how to turn it, you know, make yeah. a buck here. He's not putting any money into research, development, nothing. No, he's putting it into his his well, G4 plane or whatever. Yeah. Right. So, Turing Pharmaceuticals bought the formulation for the drug back in August for fifty-five million dollars, and so. You know, it's really interesting because the CEO of Imprimis, who's now making it for a dollar, says, here's why. He says, his issue is not the cost of the drug or even the cost of the labor. Turing's issue is the cost of capital. He paid $55 million for that formulation. He's got to cover that cost. So based on his input, he's got to sell it for a lot more than we do. Okay, can so I he's, just say he's kind of excusing them right here. No, no, but I actually, that was a point I made on without any other reporting on it, just based on my general knowledge of, of how the markets mm -hmm. work, uh, on the Young Turks. I said, look, he's not charging for the drug. He's no. charging for all the money he had to pay to buy the, uh, the, the, the rights to the drug right. in the first place. Right. It's all the financing costs. So it's now he's, if this winds up being an effective competitor, everybody's going to have a nice little smile on their face because mm -hmm. he's going to go out of business. Yeah, the original the, guy charging 750 bucks. Yeah, and the reason why Bomb doesn't have to charge such a high price for it, why they don't have as many costs is because instead of buying the formula outright, they decided to manipulate it a little bit. So they use two of the same ingredients but have a different formulation that doesn't require it to pay for rights. So it's, well, it's all very legal. Yeah, and, and don't get it wrong, the, the thing that they're adding to it also helps you yeah, absolutely. with the same ailment, right? So they're doing a great thing here. and and. And the other thing that I that I happen to know in this case is that the rest of the healthcare industry was furious with Martin Shkreli because mm -hmm. they're like, look, we already have a bad rap, and this some bitch comes <laughs> in, here, right, and and does something obviously yeah. seedy. It's so seedy, it's horribly seedy for us. He's like an evil right? villain in a comic book movie. Like that's right. how bad he is in, in my mind. I agree. Yeah. I thought so too. But I, I correct me. I, I'm getting confused. At first, you said. You were kind of uh, saying he has to cover his costs. No, no. My point is that uh, that well, you shouldn't have bought it for fifty-five million dollars yeah. in the first oh. place. Yeah, you're full. Because you then you know you have to cover your financing costs, and you know you're overcharging the people oh. who need the so drug. So he knew it would have to happen. Of course, he knew yeah. that from day one. The whole reason he bought it is so that he could pay for his financing costs and then still make a giant amount of money. Because the reason he targeted this drug not to make. Remember, Kelly's right. He didn't discover this. Yep, he didn't no. spend a lot of time in the lab making this. No, he <laughs> he bought it after people had already made it and were charging a dollar. In the like I said, two companies. Yeah, ago. it was it was out of patent, so the generic drug was all already available. Yeah, right. Really? Yes, yeah. that's so the interesting part about see, it. So, so he's not a good businessman. No, <laughs> no, no. Clearly, not, clearly not now that this is happening right. too. It's like he didn't see this coming. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, and he's a relatively young guy, so yeah. he. He used to work on Wall Street, and he's like, "Oh, I got this thing figured out, okay? Okay, I'm really smart because I worked on Wall Street and made a lot of money doing fairly simple things." But you know, we decided but, to give the financial industry all this money. But uh, just one quick thing: he targeted this drug because you needed to save your life, and at the time there wasn't a good alternative. Correct. So he thinks. You're screwed. I got you by the balls. But so see, that's why he targeted this drug to buy. But this is what drives me crazy about this kind of stuff because it's like the healthcare is completely pulled out of the decision making for him. It's a business transaction for him. There's no care going on. There's no health involved. 
this is just, you know, about money being moved from account to account. And that's what, you know, just drives me crazy around this kind of stuff is healthcare is no longer about healthcare. It's just about profit over people. And it, uh, yeah, he's yeah, not, that's he's not, not the root of the problem. He's not selling satellite TVs to people, right? <laughs> he's not going to jack that up. Be like, is, oh, that's you're raping. This is life or death. Yeah, right, this exactly. is actually actually life or death. Yeah. Right? So I hope that because he loses money, I this is what I hope. I hope he loses money and it bothers him so much his blood pressure skyrockets and then someone jacks up his <laughs> oh blood pressure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that, that, Kelly's point is such a good one. Be, that's why Bernie Sanders says, "Hey, listen, I believe in democratic socialism," meaning. Uh, we have to figure out what makes sense in private hands and what makes sense in public hands. The military makes sense in public hands, not in private hands. You wouldn't want private <laughs> militaries. That's a bad idea, right? And healthcare is exactly a, an interesting middle ground where we've got some tough choices to make as a society. You don't want a, you know the government making shoes or clothes that's not necessary to the you know to your life. But in the case like this, well, it's an interesting question because the guys who made the drug in the first place, they did have a profit motive and they did come up with a wonderful yeah. drug that did save people's lives. Absolutely. Right. For sure. So there's a lot of goodness in the industry. Yes. But at the same time, guys are allowed to do this. So is there a role for the government somehow to say, hey, this is cool. We love that you make money doing this. This is not cool. And that's when you need regulation. And that's really what you need in terms of cops, right? Cops make those calls all the time. Hey, you're jaywalking and there's no cars around. I'm going to let it go, right? <laughs> right? Oh, look, you slit that guy's throat in the middle of the street. I'm not going to let that one go. Sorry, I can't let that one. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, that's what you need the government for.